So everything that we're building here is done in-house uh, as far as all of our aluminum work. So everything in the raw material is cut to a pre-desired length for what they need. Uh, there's fixtures and jigs that set up on these benches. You see some of these blue fixtures, uh, purple fixtures here. Uh -huh. uh, those are more set up for, you know, if you're trying to weld a frame, if you look behind you where he's welding this pad on, see where he's got it all locked, locked down under this jig? Right. It tells him right where to put these feet at. So when he welds them in place, they're at the right angle, they're in the right location. So he'll weld more stuff on the back of All these pads tell him exactly where they need to be at. So when he, when he gets done and flips it upside down, all those pads are in the same place every time. Excellent. So it, all the aluminum work, all of this that you see right here is done in-house. So there's multiple stations. Some guys are only packing stuff into jigs and other guys are welding them all the way out. So you get it all tied together, it holds it a lot tighter. And you can go around and put all your welds in, make it really pretty. Uh, so some guys are just packing stuff and then they move to another station and get welded up. Okay. Other guys are just in a weld booth. I got you. Different, different gigs for different models. Um, some of them are made just to pack them together. Some are made to weld out. Uh, some of them, it's like a sub-assembly. So one guy will build one part of it and he might build two or three and then they all come together to one guy and that one guy adds it all together and welds it all out in one spot. So once everything's welded in here, it'll move out to the floor. This is one of those scenarios where I was telling you that one guy might be, he's obviously just welding all these legs together. And you see it on the table here. He's just packing all these legs together that come here. Might go to another guy that has a fixture similar to this. And we'll weld it all together. Once everything's welded and QC'd, it'll come down to this end of the building. It'll actually go through that door right there and it'll get prepped for powder coating. Uh, there's a few processes that it has to go through. Uh, layman's terms, it's pretty much just sanded and looked over really well. Uh, we wash it, then it dries, then it'll go into the powder coat booth. When we go through this door, we'll be in the middle of the process and we can look back to the left. So when they come in the door down here, all these are ready to be powder coated already. They'll get washed, um, pressed, and they'll come down this way, they'll get dried. Uh, we utilize this room some for some drying. Sometimes we got a preheat, which there's an oven on the other side of the powder coat booth. This booth here is just to apply the power. You can really feel that air getting yeah, sucked yeah. out here. It's just well, enough air not to disturb the paint, but it's enough air to keep it all separated. The, that thumping that you hear is the filter spinning itself back out again. You can look at the excess dust. At the end of the day, they'll just clean that up. Wow.
Really? Nothing else has to be done. Other stuff that they assemble, whether it's got uh, you know these hinges and stuff, they got to put nylon bushings in it. Uh, depends on what the product is that they have to do. But all in all, the product process is done at that point. That's cool, man. I love that you guys all do that all in house.